Hey guys, it's Nit here, and Black Ops 3 has finally dropped just today, and oh my god, I love it, I just love it. But, that said, um, it's very different than the beta. I've got a good 25, maybe even all the way up to 40 hours invested in the beta, and this is very, very different in terms of weapon damage and statistics like that. So, I've been messing around a bit, and when I first started playing the game, I had a lot of trouble, and that was mainly due to, um, my, my poor class choices, right? I was running around with the KN44, which is the first assault rifle you unlock, and that was really good in the beta, but now it just sucks in um in the actual online play from my experience So I pieced together this class from um, a little bit of experience now as I make this video right now The game's only been out for an hour, but I've actually been playing it for a good six or seven Mainly because um the game was delivered a little bit earlier than it should but uh but yeah, that, that, I'm no complaints over here, so I've gotten a little bit more time than um, you might expect in this game. So I think this class works out really, really nice. So you're seeing a picture of it right now, and this is definitely one of the top tier classes in my opinion. I can't say it's the best because I still haven't messed around with everything, but it's definitely up there, and this is definitely the best choice that you can use when you're first starting to level up if you're like me. So here's what it consists of. Its primary weapon is the HVK-30. This is the fastest firing assault rifle in the game, and it's it pretty much is the best... Um, this assault rifle is the best SMG in a sense, right? Its fire rate and its accuracy are very consistent with what you might expect from an SMG, along with its range and damage. I don't see why it's not even in that class anyway to begin with, but it's definitely right up there. What I like about this weapon is that its recoil isn't that awful. You can slap a grip on it to negligate it like I do, or you can actually try and cope with it, so that's pretty nice. Uh, my attachments for this um this this beast. What I like about the HVK, real quick, you're gonna get into a lot of close quarter situations, and the HVK dominates in those up against the, the basic assault rifles you're gonna be seeing, like a KN44 or even uh, even like the SMGs like the Weevil that you're gonna see early on. But here are the attachments. I like to run quick draw, allows the gun to snap on a bit quicker, make it a little more SMG like, you know? If, if you're gonna, might as well embrace the SMG title if you ask me, even though it's an assault rifle. It, it, it's pretty nice, I, I recommend it. Next up is grip. I don't do well with recoil in any Call of Duty game. Maybe you do a bit better, maybe you can substitute grip for something better, like a suppressor, or even um, even stock would be a pretty is a pretty nice attachment on this weapon. My secondary, I prefer the MR6. I think this is really necessary. The HVK only holds about 120 bullets in total, including your starting mag, unless you have an exterior perk. So you're going to run out of ammo quickly if you intend to go on score streaks, and the MR6 is a nice little substitute pistol to run early on in game that could, um, that could get you that one extra kill you need so you can go after and then pick up that guy's gun, right? My lethal, nothing special. I like to run a frag grenade. I don't really, um, I, I, I don't use it to, that often to be quite honest with you. I don't use frags nearly as much in Blops 3 as much as I did in previous games. But it's, um, I suppose it's useful. I've only gotten a few kills with it though. My tactical, which is a bit more important, I recommend just running a simple concussion. This is a bit low, uh, well actually no, that's, that's a under exaggeration. This is a lot better than a frag grenade in my opinion. It stuns your enemies, you could run in there, and with a weapon like an HVK-30 up against a stunned enemy, it's no contest. You'll dictate every time. Perk 1, um... To be honest, if you're if you're if you have it, I would I I'd recommend overclock. But if you don't, I, then afterburner is definitely for you. Your thrusters have a slightly better charge, which is nice, and it's one of those first things unlocked, so you don't have to waste an unlock token. Next up, perk two, fast hands. I haven't really seen the perk two that I actually like yet, so I'd, I'd recommend you just stick with fast hands. Perk three, however, I would recommend for um, blast suppressor. Gun hose nice in its ability to sprint, but I find that blast suppressor is a bit more efficient, seeing as you're going to be using that um, that blast ability a lot more often than others. And then another note on this gun, it's got a lot of flexibility. When it comes to optics and that sort of thing, you can kind of mess around on your own part. You've got a good, um, you got one extra point to mess around with. It's only filled up to nine slots, so you can, you can add another concussion, or you can slap an optic on this gun. I've messed a little bit around with reflex. I haven't gotten ELO on the HVK yet, which I want really badly. But, um, if that's your thing, if you don't like the iron sights, then that's definitely something to invest in. Although, I find the iron sights quite nice, and I wouldn't recommend it. Anyways, guys, that's my best starter class. Trust me, this thing is fantastic. It d dominates at close ranges, which you're going to see a lot in this game, and it also performs moderately well being an assault rifle in medium and even kind of short long-range combat. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Nate. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day spending it on Black Ops 3, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye, everyone.